All right, here we go. Hey, what's up everybody? Mike here from the Lost Co. Just saying hi. It's the beginning of the busy riding season and definitely the beginning of the very busy season here at the Lost Co. Any bike shop for that matter. And yeah, we just wanted to check in with you guys and say hi and just give you some updates of all this craziness that we're seeing with the inventory shortages and how busy everything is, back order dates, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, let's do a little walk. I got something to show you first. Check out this stack of GX Access upgrade kits. We wanted to start this video by saying thank you. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I'm doing my job. No, that's Colin. He does his job. This is the guy that's shipping out your orders. He works really hard at shipping stuff and doesn't stop before filming. He just keeps on shipping. Thank you, Colin. Everyone really appreciates you. I'm serious. Um, yes, we got the stack of GX Access upgrade kits we just got from the truck this morning. Lots and lots of people pre-ordered these for two different batch dates, which we had dates from SRAM of mid-May and then mid-June. Both of those back order dates were delayed. Um, unfortunately, these are things that we just have no control of, but luckily everyone was very understanding. Everyone that pre-ordered these things, just they just get it. They get it that uh, two by fours are expensive and you gotta wait for some certain parts because there's shipping delays that no one can see. These things were just stuck on a boat. And I don't think SRAM is a boat company. I think SRAM is a bike park company, unfortunately, uh, got stuck on a boat, but we have these here. So today, Colin and the guys are going to ship out all of these GX Access upgrade kits. So thank you very, very much for all of your patience. We really, really appreciate it. Um, so those are gonna be shipped out. Now let's take a little walk around the shelves and just kind of show you what's going on around here. All right, first let's go in the old fork aisle. So, uh, it's a little bare, but we do have a lot of 29 inch Fox 36s. We're still waiting for some 38s, but we do have a lot of 29 inch Fox 36s in uh, I think a bunch of different colors. Well, orange and black, but also we've got a bunch of Marzocchi forks as well. And we have a lot of RockShox forks. We have tons of Zebs. We also have some Lyrics and whatnot. So if you're looking for a Zeb, uh, we got them in these here boxes. And then over here, we've got a lot of hubs in stock from Industry 9. We've got a decent selection of one-up dropper posts. And you know all these spots in the shelves that you're seeing not have anything there. It's not because we don't want anything there. It's just because we can't get it and we're just waiting on it. So lots of, lots of dates keep getting moved back. For example, we've ordered some things from Shimano that were supposed to be here months and months ago. And who honestly knows when they're gonna show up? Things honestly just show up in boxes and it's a big surprise these days, but that's just kind of what we're dealing with, but we're doing our best. Let's go over to the next one. Uh, starting over here, we've got a decent amount of pedals in stock. Lots of one-ups in both the composite and the aluminum. Got some DDs, some DMR volts. These oil slick ones are super cool from Andreo Lecandigi. We also have a decent amount of GX Access rear derailleurs. So if you didn't get a kit, you can actually piece them together, you know, right now. By the time this video gets posted up, they might be out of stock, but uh, you can piece those kits together. We've got some tram cassettes, lots of hip packs in stock. We've got actually chains in stock right now, which was a very hard one to get. We were kind of nervous at the beginning of the season because we were hearing about the terrible news with the chain shortages. We were having a hard time understanding how we were going to accomplish repairs in the service shop if we didn't have chains. Luckily, we have chains now. Those are for sale online. And we did reserve a few for the shop just so we can keep people moving and grooving on their bikes locally for when they do need a bike repaired. We got Magura brakes. We got some SRAM Code RSCs. Those are my favorites. We've got a bunch of helmets from Fox. We've got cranks from SRAM. We've got, uh, oh yeah access shifters which come in a gigantic box i have no idea why it's this big but you get a huge box i don't know why anyway not important but moving on all right next next aisle this aisle is full of a lot of goodies that have definitely kept people rolling no pun intended but maxis tires maxis has been doing a really good job of being able to keep stuff in stock and Steve over here has been doing an awesome job of getting them when they're available at our distributors. So tons of Maxxis tires. That's just something that has been a, a really good positive thing that's been in stock for most of the season. We've got tons of tools. So if your bike's broken, feel free to snag some tools from our website and yeah, get things going. We've also got a lot of these kits from 
Park Tool, we've got the SK4s and the AK5s for some at-home mechanic stuff. Those things are awesome. It's just a toolbox that comes with tools inside and it's, uh, it's a great selection for just fixing things at home for most basic repairs. And then, yeah, here we go. Now more fun stuff. We got lots of springs in stock for rear shocks. Don't know how long these are gonna last, so if you are looking to get a rear coil shock, definitely try to do that sooner than later just because springs are gonna start getting a little scarce here. Back here in regards to shocks, these shells were completely empty about three weeks ago. Luckily, we just got a whole bunch of shocks in, but it was overflowing like three or four days ago and it's already back to the second row. So if you're again, looking to get a rear shock upgrade, try to do that probably sooner than later. You just don't wanna miss out, especially if you have your heart set on that new Float X2 or DHX2 or Bomber CR, and then you go on our website a week later and it's not in stock anymore. That's because unfortunately someone else grabbed it. So it's, it's kind of a crazy year. You gotta hop on it before someone else does. We've also got the new Fox DHX in, which is just a little bit more basic and affordable version of the DHX2, which is an awesome option between the Bomber CR and DHX2. And uh, yeah, we've got some gloves, we've got some Magneg kits for rear Super Deluxe Ultimates from SRAM. We've got some shock whizzes to help you set up those new shocks. Lots of Kush Core. I really like Kush Core. Most of the guys here in the shop like Kush Core. We've got a bunch of those in stock, uh, which is really good if you're charging through some rocky and rough stuff. Speaking of springs, another thing that we just got in is the Sprindex springs. These are adjustable and progressive, which is really cool. A lot of customers really like progressive springs. If you wanna learn more about progressive springs, we got a video on this in the past. It's just about the MRP, but all that same stuff applies to any progressive spring like the Cane Creek ones that we have, and also the Sprindexes, but these things are adjustable so you can actually make your coil that you buy stiffer or softer with some adjustments built onto the spring, which is pretty damn nifty, I'd say. Last shelf here, we've got a lot of oils, cleaning supplies. We got a lot of grips in stock. We've got tons of greases for suspension so you can service your suspension because it's dry out. You want to make sure that you don't have a bunch of grit and sandy, dry dirt getting into your dust wipers, getting past your dust wipers and into your lowers because then dirty suspension equals sad suspension. So keep that clean. We've got stuff for all of that. Over here, we've got a lot of PNW loam grips. These are the best selling grips that we've had in quite some time. They're under 20 bucks and they seem to last a long time and they have a good rubber compound where they're pretty sticky. They're a real minimal grip and people really like these. Every time we get like a hundred of each color in stock, we'll sell them out in a week or two at the most. Also have a bunch of cool accessories over here. Like we have all these Groundkeeper branded fork decals. So we've got Fox 36, 38. We've got a bunch of RockShox fork decals, etc., etc. Those are pretty nifty. We've got some Groundkeeper frame protection kits and a whole bunch of different designs. Those come in matte and gloss, which is pretty neat. Got lots of chain lube to keep your drivetrain running smooth. We've got some bleed kits. We've got hose kits and uh, we've got some brush cleaning kits to keep things clean. So yeah, um, Colin, shipping out some frames. Yeah, got the, some Marin frames in, shipping them out. Just got them in like last week, I think. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, we got a small stack of frames. Sold two this morning after putting them in stock pretty quick. So um, it's uh, it's hard out here, man. You need some parts. It's crazy how fast how fast this stuff is going. And then it's crazy how hard it is to get back in stock. But like we said, we're doing our best. If you wanna know exactly what we have in stock, um, don't judge it by the video. All you gotta do is go on our website at thelostco.com. We use a live inventory system. It's 99% accurate. There's always gonna be like a bottle of chain lube or something that isn't accounted for, but 99% accuracy. If it says we have it in stock and it shows the add to cart button, then it is in stock physically on our shelves and ready to ship. We don't sell anything we don't have. We don't drop ship anything. It's, it's here, and if it's not, it's not on our website and it won't let you buy it. So super easy to figure that out. All right, over here back in the studio, we're doing a new video comparing some Maxxis front tires. We got the Asagai versus the Minion DHF versus the Minion DHR2 versus the Shorty. So that will be up probably next week or next weekend whenever we get done editing it. It's a little bit longer, so probably take a little bit more time, but it's gonna be a good one, especially if you're looking for a new front tire. So that's pretty much all we have today. We just wanted to give a little check-in and again, say thank you very much for everyone 
placing orders with us, and also if you did have any of those Chromag frames or SRAM GX Access upgrade kits, I just wanna say thank you for being very patient. Uh, we're trying our best and we're very appreciative of you guys being super patient and understanding of the situation. Some things are out of our control, but we're trying our absolute best to be in control as much as possible. Well, until next time, have a great season of riding and we'll probably get another one of these vlogs coming up here soon because it's pretty busy here. And uh, yeah, until next time, peace.